Welcome back to the series. If you didn't watch episode 1, I recommend you do before continuing this video. Now, if you remember, last episode ended on a cliffhanger, being when I had entered this here teleporter. Expecting an all white box, maybe with an item? I was not expecting an entirely new area. This was a bit overwhelming at the time. So I decided it's best to go look at each game in this area, decide our order afterwards. All of these games look interesting, so it's a tough decision. But what if I told you there was one more game that I didn't show you? We go all the way back into the start, we jump underneath the bridge, once we complete a little maze, find the focus of this video, Terminal Calculation. Right off the bat, I was feeling pretty confused. It seemed as though the entire game was just this one room. I knew that couldn't be true because it took a few minutes for the game to load. I rubbed against every single wall, looking for a single door. Until I had actually found one. I led into this tall, wide expanse of a hallway. It had me so curious, like there's no way the entire game is like this, right? Anyways, I continued down the hall all the way until I found... An overwhelmingly massive tower. There wasn't actually that much to do inside. I only had to flick two levers then I could move on. I head back down the path I passed earlier. And, to my surprise, the giant gear had stopped. There's a room awaiting us behind it, and here we find our main goal. Finding a way to press all four buttons at once. We searched the maze for any little strand that could help us. After countless dead ends, we make it to the quarry. I noticed there were some NPCs here, so I tried to get close. And after that didn't go well, I decided to take a minute to think about what to do. Since they can jump, technically they would be able to go to those pressure plates, but I think it'd be hell to try and keep them on them. I explored the rest of the quarry. And found something strange at the end of it. It's saying here that we need 20 metal to fix this ladder. Which completely shatters my point of view of this game, because I haven't even seen metal yet. This game is going to take much longer than I thought. Anyways, I it opposite the quarry, since I hadn't explored over there. Again, I was seriously surprised. Sacrifice life to me, and I will help you escape the maze. Immediately, my mind went to the workers in the quarry. I knew the pain of getting them out. And inevitably, I finally get them to be sacrifices. I didn't exactly get an explanation as to what that did. I spent some time wandering and backtracking. Until it finally clicked with me. I went back to the clock room, and three of the buttons were pressed! Anticipation was overflowing me. Had I finally finished the game? Oh my god. I was so wrong. Now, 
To give you some perspective, I've spent maybe an hour in the game so far. I spent a total of six hours on it. I think I'll have to speed things up. Upon entering this new area, we take the left path. We find a bridge which again needs metal to be built. Then, if we backtrack a tiny bit, we find a housing area. We get our first tool of the game. I couldn't make any further progress to the left, and so I went back and took right. Take two more rights and make it to a building of some kind. And we get our most important tool, the pickaxe, which granted us access to the mines. And you guessed it, this is where we get ore. Save that thought for later, because I don't actually get to smelt the ore for a while. Instead, I go and grab this key, which spawns a giant spider from the sky. I actually managed to outrun it. And make my way to the other side of the mines. At another right turn I have to take, now I'm in a giant box-like room. Here, we see a new puzzle. We have to get three amulets to open this giant door. Make my way towards the first amulet. But first, I need to get these little buggers out of the way. Right as I was about to get the first amulet, Now, as if the game wasn't confusing enough, I had no clue where I was. I was so scared, but I managed to avoid another spider. And eventually I found <gasps> another spider, oh no. It was faster than me. There's no way for me to run. I had to fight. Just kidding, I'm a scaredy cat. So as I was saying, I found a building where I could finally smell all the ore I had. This place acts as a home base of sorts, where we can use our metal to upgrade our gear. So now we can get back to- oh, oh my god he's back. We say good riddance to our buddy, we actually do a bit of fishing to get ourselves some healing items. Everything ready, I can finally leave the home. Maybe getting flung wasn't that bad. As I continued forward, there was another spider trying to get to me. I really hope I don't have to fight one of those again. It leaves me alone eventually. And after one more close call, I make it back to familiar territory. You're on the other side of this area at the start. I didn't know how I would get back, since my pickaxe was too weak for that rock. I went up this little hill, ignored the dead bodies, and grabbed some dynamite. And now I head back to the start. More importantly, backtrack and make our way towards the first badge. There he was. These giant grievers, my biggest fear throughout the entire game. And now, more than ever, I had to conquer my fear. He was so low. So after a quick run back, finally managed to move on from my fears. 
a quick obby. And we get our first badge in terminal calculation. The game isn't finished yet. I said the first badge. Meaning that I had to redo the entire game one more time. And this time, I had to actually finish the amulet puzzle. It ended up being my favorite part of the game. The rooms had good design, and while the bridge could be a drag to walk on, isn't that just the entire game? <laughs> And finally, the reason I ever had to do all of that, grab the dynamite one final time. With dynamite in hand, I head back to the bridge from earlier, find a secret area underneath. Well, up until this point, I had done the entire game by myself. When I got to this area, even though I was so close to the end, caved and ended up getting help. I could have spent another couple hours wandering around. Truth be told, my brain was feeling fried at this point. So with that being said, this is my friend Knight, going to be helping me whenever I get stuck. With that out of the way, he let me know to fish here for a key. Finally enter the last section of the game. The game had been entirely covered in white. Now it was showing its true colors, turning into a red labyrinth of a maze. I encountered these freaky looking spiders, and suddenly my fears were back. Past the spider was this creature named Rock Bottom? What'd this game become? Soon enough, night caught up to me. I was told I needed an item to progress, so I ventured to fishing. Ew, I need to hold a leech. Fed it to rock bottom. Wow, he just exploded. I had to do quite a bit of walking. Once that was done, we got to a facility of some kind. We solved a couple puzzles and continued to get deeper and deeper into the facility. Only one thing left between me and the final badge. The boss fight against a maggot. To place our dynamite so that he ate it and hurt himself. And although there were some close calls between Knight and I, we were the only ones who came out alive. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch the next episode when it comes out, be sure to subscribe. So like and comment if you enjoyed.